Hey guys, it's Alice. Welcome to my channel. So I decided to do another workout challenge. I don't know why I put myself through this again, <laughs> but I was thinking what better way to start the year by just being in pain. <laughs> but basically my friend Isabel, she suggested this challenge by Blow Glarties, which is the 21 day tone challenge and basically what you have to do is every single day, 21 days, 21 minutes and since I was doing this challenge anyway with my sister and our friend, I decided to just film my progress and you guys can come and enjoy my pain of doing this challenge and I'll let you know what I think of this challenge as well, if I would recommend it, if it's worth doing it and if you stick till the end of the video, you can see the final result but anyway if you want to see how I do with this challenge please keep watching so this is what my body looked like before I started the challenge. I've tried to keep on top of my fitness throughout last year, but I did notice if I wasn't following a routine, I didn't sustain a regular workout schedule. So I would have more rest days than actual workout days. And that's why I wanted to do this workout challenge to help with my fitness and to help me get back into a regular workout routine. So let's start this 21 day tone challenge. Day one wasn't actually too bad. This was only the second time I've ever a video by Blow Glarties. So it was interesting to see how she did her workout routines. What I was impressed by is that she does the workout with you so we can feel the pain together. I seriously don't know how she talked throughout the workout. I'm gasping for her between sets. I've never really done workouts with repeated sets before. So for the first round, I was thinking this was really easy. The second round, I was beginning to question the ease of this workout. And by the third round, my limbs were jelly. I I will say that her chatty personality helps distract me from what I'm doing. I sort of just let my mind wander while I listen to her stories and I try not to think of the pain that my body is in. Go ahead, sit up. Day one, check. Day seven is a stretching day and how she's worked the calendar is that every Sunday it's a flexibility video and I think it's amazing that she's included this as part of the workout challenge because I definitely need to work on my flexibility and movement since I've been skipping that part out for my workout routine. So that's why I'm not as flexible as I was back last year when I was including stretching as part of my routine and as I said it helps with movement and it's just good to stretch out your muscles after a workout, warm up and Cool down kids, it helps prevent injuries. Another day, another workout. It's a week into this challenge and I do feel that the videos are getting easier. I'm not going to lie, I'm already done with this challenge. And I've noticed that she talks throughout the whole video. I mean, kudos to her to keep talking. It's quite impressive to talk and work out at the same time. And I can understand how people like the words of encouragement and how the stories help distract you from the workout. And even I liked it at first, but I don't know. I don't think I personally like the talking as much as I initially did because how I normally work out is I just put music on and that becomes my background noise but that's just my preference I mean the videos aren't too hard but we shall see how this challenge goes this is what my body looks like a week into this program I can't see too much of a change from the beginning of the workout to now but I will say there is slightly more oblique definition and I do look slightly slimmer I don't know if I'm just seeing things because I want to see a change after all this work but hey ho I've only been doing this for a week now can't expect instant results but so far so good This is the last week of the challenge. I cannot tell you how much I want this to be over. I've only got six more days and I'll be done, but I'm persevering. I'm sticking it through till the end. I've gotten this far. Like I said, I can't see that much toning in my body, but we've been working out with Isabel over Zoom. And the last time we Zoomed together, she said that she could see the difference and improvement. So it got me thinking that it's probably harder to see your own body's changes than someone else. It's a slow process 
aggression, but it's there. You know, slow and steady wins the race. And after her words, I could see the slight toning of my body. So this challenge isn't a bust. I'm just over it. But I'm pushing through. I'm almost to the end. Okay, I filmed this result video after lunch and I had a big lunch. So this is what my body looks like in the afternoon. And I was definitely feeling a little bloated while filming this week's results. But I wanted to film it in the afternoon because A, I couldn't be bothered to do it in the morning. And B, this is what my body looks like most of the time. Hell, it gets even more bloated than this. So even though I'm working out and getting fitter, my body just ain't showing it today. And that's okay, because every body type reacts differently to working out. Some show it more, some don't, but it's all about your own progress. This is the very last workout of the challenge. I'm so happy it's going to be over. I feel like this challenge has gone so quickly while also feeling like I've been doing it forever. I've had my ups and downs during the program. Some days I really didn't want to do it and I sort of had to force myself to work out that day. While other days I wanted to work out and I did more videos. Overall, this challenge has done exactly what I asked it to do. My goals were to become fitter and to get back into working out regularly and I met them. So although I probably won't continue working out with Blow Glartis on a regular basis, I met the targets I set, so that's really all I could ask for. It's just a personal preference, but I would recommend to try out her workouts for yourself and see if you like her style of working out. Done. 21 days, 21 minutes, every day. Oh, I'm so glad it's done. Okay, let me throw up. We are at the very end of the challenge and this is what my body looks like now. I definitely can tell there is a difference in my body from the beginning of the workout till now. So that's good. It wasn't a waste of time. Let's bring up the footage from the beginning to compare. As you can see, there is more toning and definition in the final shot. It's very minimal though, but I can see some abs poking through. I wasn't expecting drastic changes in my body. I remember from the last workout challenge I did, I only had slight changes as well but hey that's how my body works but overall i am happy with the results so to conclude i do think this challenge is worth it it's only 21 minutes every day it's so easy it personally wasn't my cup of tea but with that set i did see a difference and it was nice to try out someone else's workout routine and style and it's always good to keep fit and healthy especially with everything that's going on you want to be fit and healthy <laughs> but anyway if you did like this video if you like the content i'm bringing to you please give this video a big thumbs up comment below if you've done this challenge as well or if you want to do the challenge or if you have any other challenges that you want to suggest that i do i can look into that and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you again